Is there any insecurity about your body that you managed to overcome with time? In general, growing up is not very easy. Especially now in my generation, um, social media is so big and you're just judged by everything you do. I remember when I was in school, on Facebook, I was, I was always very skinny, very tall, the tallest. And then on Facebook, all the girls were like commenting really bad stuff. And I was not poor, my family was never poor, but we didn't have like that much money. We were living in a not that good area and everyone was making fun of it and posting it on Facebook and it was so horrible. So I felt really insecure because of that. And then also I have an illness. My intestines are not developed right. Um, I was in hospital a lot and I was always that weird kid that is always in hospital. And that was very hot. And then I had an operation and I have like a big scar on my tummy. Um, and that was then probably the thing when I was like, oh my God, okay, I can't do anything anymore. I didn't want to go to swimming, like swimming or somewhere. I didn't want to go like to sports where I have to change where girls saw my body. And um, I think it all changed when I was like 17 and I realized all of those things, they make me to a special person. I'm special because of that. I'm special because of my scar. I'm special because of my illness. Um, and I like to be special. I like to be different. Oh yes. And it's amazing. And I just love myself in that way. And I think that was then the first time when people started to like me. I just had a Cosmopolitan cover shoot for Germany and they were like, okay, we need to open this sky, everyone has to see this <laughs> because for them it's beautiful. And for me now it's beautiful too, but back in the days I was like, oh my God, the worst part of my body. Mm. I imagine that um, when you were having your first sexual experience and uh, you know, about your sky, you must have felt so insecure. Um, Definitely, yes. I felt insecure with everything. Like I was like, I don't have boobs, haha. <laughs> I don't have a butt, haha. <laughs> you know. Um, but the scar was the biggest problem. I never wanted to be undressed. I never wanted to be hugged by someone because I just felt so scared of the reaction of the person. How did you even find out about uh, periods? Do you remember? Who told you? Did your mom tell you about it? It's really funny. I'm very close with my mom and I really love my mom, but we never spoke about periods. We never, we would never speak about sexual experiences. I don't know why. Maybe it's a Russian thing. Um, mm -hmm. I, oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Um, I was speaking with my friends about it, actually. I think the first time I he heard about periods was in a film, in a movie and sex the same. I was like in a film, in television, it was like, oh, what is this? And then obvi obviously you're speaking with your friends and um, they're telling their experiences. And I was quite late with my period. So all my best friends had it first and they helped me then with that. Mm -hmm. That moment uh, when you first get your period, like, did you tell your mom? Did you tell your dad? I told nobody. I felt so ashamed. Oh. My mom obviously saw it because my mom was washing my clothes and she was like, yeah, we're gonna buy you stuff. But she didn't even say more. And I think it's just like, I don't know why. My mom also felt ashamed. It was just such an awkward moment. And I wish that I'm just different with my daughter about this topic. I know, right? I, I imagine you would be, you would be different. I'm very yeah. different with my daughter. I, I, I spoke to her about it, and and uh, I, she's now starting to, uh, starting to develop, and she's changing, and 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 you can see it in her mood as well. Oh my God! The hormones <laughs> going up imagine. and down, <laughs> and I, to all the brother, I said it's not even her. It's uh, the it's hormones. just the hormones yeah. that are going up and down. What are the 
three reasons why you love your period. I definitely love my period because I know I can get a baby. I can like have another human being inside of me. And then bringing a human being on this planet is just amazing. I love my period because it actually it gives me the feeling to be alive because all those emotions up and down up and down this is life I like my periods because I'm a woman I love being a woman I think we are so strong I think we are stronger than men we go through pain we go through pain with a baby getting a baby I think no man can even imagine how it is to be a woman and I think it is the best that God made me a woman mm. Fair enough, I'm with you. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you so much.